Hi, I'm Laura Gale, one of the co-founders of Hover Girl Properties, and we're here today with Chris Hubner with Brightway Insurance to talk all things roof related. It's a lot of talking. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, three main things that we're seeing um, are the condition of the roof, um, the life left of the roof, and really the age. So those are the three things that are really kind of talking about a lot more. Um, the age insurance companies right now are bleeding with uh, frivolous roof claims. Mm -hmm. So they're just taking a hard stance to say, you know, some companies are going to say, we're not going to insure a roof that's over 10 years old. Mm -hmm. We're not going to insure a roof over 15. We're not going to insure a roof over 20. Um, don't ever let an agent or a person that doesn't know what they're talking about say, oh, it's 10 years old and it's a, it's a hard no. Right. Because we have carriers that will go up to 30. It just depends on, you know, kind of what the cost is. They're taking on more risk and right. things like that. So there are answers to it. We just need to know what the inspection says. It goes back to the condition. Mm -hmm. The inspector is going to say, you know, this roof is X number of years old. It's got five years of life left. Everything looks great. Um, so that's always a good scenario so we know what we're looking at and then to the condition piece of it um, You know, it's it's about the shingles. Are they are they peeling up? Is there a tree next to it? That's dumping right. leaves and branches on it because that will make a roof deteriorate faster Right, so there's all these different factors with the roofs and unfortunately that is the biggest claim scenario right now. Mm -hmm. So that's why insurance companies are very, very hard bent on. Right, we see it a lot too. No one likes a limb touching a roof. So we <laughs> want to make sure that that's, that's squared away and you have the ability to get a homeowner's insurance policy. And, and another thing too, when you have a new roof, mm -hmm. get a, there's an inspection called a wind mitigation inspection. So how does the roof mitigate against wind damage? Mm -hmm. It's pretty cut and dry. Mm -hmm. That will save hundreds if not thousands of dollars on your insurance because the roof is now up to code mm -hmm. and the nails are spaced differently and all of that. Um, I am a big fan of that. Having your inspector write up that every time. Absolutely. Well yeah. worth the $50, $100, whatever they're charging for you because it can save thousands. Right, it is a little bit extra to get the wind mitigation but if you're a buyer under contract, it's well worth the money. So bottom line is make sure that you're dealing with a, an insurance broker and a real estate agent that knows what they're doing in this market. And again, um, thank you for visiting. And if you need any more information, you can find us at hovergirlproperties.com.